So I thought I would put together a quick guide on how to get the Imperial Hammer because I couldn't find any good ones or they were all out of date. So you first of all go to Galactic Powers. You want to be allied with this girl and you want to be allied for four weeks before you do this. So we can see in the rating page that we, we're already rating number one. Rating number two is at 100 merits and rating number three is at 75 merits. And that grants us access to the Imperial Hammer, a, mu a multi-fire railgun after four weeks aligned with this power. So, we can do preparation, expansion, or control. So we're going to do ex expansion because all you have to do is do some combat. It's relatively simple, it's very safe, and it doesn't take too long. So we're going to go view it on map, we can do it right from here. There's only one planet we're actually trying to expand into. So I'm going to go to the system map, find it where I'm going to kind of have my base of operations. So I can see that this station has restock, rearm, and refuel facilities where the station on the left actually doesn't have any refuel so I'm going to go there as my kind of base of operations if I die I'll respawn there and that is it so you head to that system you then look for these things crime sweeps so I found this one around a gas giant and you'll detect them within about a thousand light seconds so if you're having trouble finding them go to a planet that's nearby and look for them and then as soon as I actually get in, I boost straight through the middle and out the other side. And this is because everyone's immediately hostile, so there's a good chance a whole bunch of them might start shooting at you. So I fly away, I let the aggro get taken by the police, and then I turn around and come back. If someone's still following me, that's the guy I'll take on first. Otherwise, I'm going to look for a nice weak target that the police are also shooting at, and we'll kick some ass. It's relatively simple, even if you're not that great at combat, it isn't too hard to get your kills. So I was getting maybe 100 to 200 merit points. So you get 10, 10 merit points each kill you get. Even if it's a big ship, you still get the same amount of merits. So it's a simple matter of blowing them all up and not getting yourself blown up. And I was using that station nearby as a kind of refuel and rearm position so I could come back in easy enough and repair any damage I may have sustained. Once I'd saved up a certain amount of merits, usually about 250, that's when I'd go, okay, Bring up the map, find the control centers, and find out find a system that's controlled by her. This means you can go and hand the merits in. So at that point, I'd fly to that station, go to the contacts, hand a little bounty in here, but I'm going to go to power contact, and that is where you can then hand in your merits. So you can see if you want to do the other things, you can see that this is where you'd also hand in the other ones as well, or for instance, pick up some cor corruption reports. So we're going to redeem all of our vouchers so we can see we're going, to, we're going to get 250 points so for this instance we go straight up to 250 points now that will not get you to rank 2 yet you need to actually wait for the cycle to switch over so you can see here I have 250 points but I'm not ranked 2 yet so every week there's a cycle and that is when you then get moved up in your rank depending on how many merits you actually handed in so here I am this is actually with the Imperial Hammer so I've got my 750 points, so that is killing 75 ships. It didn't take me too long, maybe 3 hours over 2 days. And uh, I now have the Imperial Hammer. And it's pretty cool. It fires these really green bolts. And it looks great. I was fighting on this very dark system here. And it looks cool. I like how it lights things up when you fire it. Sounds pretty awesome as well. And it seems to be... It feels more effective than normal railgun. And uh, so far I'm loving it. So I hope that makes it a nice simple guide for how you go about getting this real gun. Thanks for watching.